Hello and welcome everyone to an episode of Web Gems, where we'll be covering everything cool and awesome for you as a gamer or just as a human being. Today's episode is about Mimu, an Android emulator. Uh, this has replaced my use of Bluestacks. Um, you can download it on uh, M-E-M-U-P-L-A-Y, memuplay.com, links in the description. You can see it's a uh, very high performance compared to many other uh, flagship Android phones and emulators. It's got full compatibility with uh, most operating systems, hardware, and games. Uh, you can run multiple instances of it if that sort of thing tickles your fancy. As well as the ability to keybind to mouse, keyboard, joystick, or any other sort of human interface device. Uh, recently, they just updated uh, to with a beta uh, that has Lollipop, but uh, more than that also, they even updated uh, the version of uh, Mimu I'm going to be showing you today. I won't be showing you Lollipop as uh, it's kind of buggy, and, and once again, to reinfer, uh, it's uh, beta. Um, you can also check these guys out on XDA if you want to see that sort of clout. Gonna open up uh, Mimu here. As you can see, this guy here, he's got Q and E mapped to the keyboard to change cover, WSD to move around, uh, probably his click to fire and, and aim here with the mouse. Uh, you can bind just about anything uh, for this. Um, clicking here, you can check out uh, frequently asked questions. Like I said, I just recently updated uh, this. Um, you can also go to About, which is where you check for your updates. Click Check Update. And uh, all of its social information down there. And System Info. Um, this is a launcher that comes with Mimu. You can, it's got a whole desktop, settings, as with most, most Android devices. Uh, you can go into developer options here. Set USB debugging and all that. Um, so going from the top here on options, you can set full screen. I'm going to leave this in window mode for recording. Uh, you can do key mapping. As you can see here, this one's useless. So. Uh, I have Q set to swipe. So you do the swipe whichever way you want it to go, and then you press whatever key you want it to be there. Um, right there, I have it set for Q. I hit Q, and it swipes over. All right. Okay, uh, going down the options, uh, you've got screenshot over here. Click screenshot. Screenshot. You can check the screen. Uh, you can switch from landscape to portrait and portrait to landscape. Uh, clicking this button will allow you to install an APK, any sort of application, uh, directly to Mimu. You can kill whichever is the topmost or current process. Uh, you can install an app or push an app to your phone if you have it connected to USB to your computer. Um, we'll check out recording in a second. Uh, the actual system settings. Uh, you can set up to two CPUs right now. Uh, your amount of memory, resolution. Uh, windows position, this is a, a new option here to remember your windows position. Change the nav bar, location, um, your language, uh, as well as phone brand, phone model, IMEI settings, mobile phone number. Uh, you can enable the sensor as well as virtual keyboard, various other options, important one like root mode. A new one here is Android notification. You can bind or set your physical folders on your drive here, such as the music, video, picture, and download, which this feature is just oh, top tits, I have to tell you. 
Um, you can add GPS information if you're doing any sort of testing or just your application requires that sort of thing. Uh, you've got shortcut keys here. Okay, uh, now a new feature uh, that was also added within the past few minutes before I started recording was Operation Record. Now this is awesome. Click Start Operation Record. Do something like Set Settings. Toggle Wi-Fi off. Toggle it back on. Toggle Bluetooth uh, on off, which isn't going to work anyways. And then click Home. Double click the launcher. And stop. Play that macro, as some of us old fogies remember it. Does exactly what I did before. At the same timing as I did it. And it's done. Except for I must have accidentally clicked something <laughs> at the end. Either way, that's pretty fancy. Um... So now let's go ahead and test out a game, and then I'll show you that the Play Store works as well. I'm going to go ahead and mute this, as I don't want uh, any sort of copyright infringement that I wasn't planning on. I'll even load this up so you can see the frequently asked questions, and then I'll hope that from happening. All right, so just for demonstration purposes. A little buggy, but, um, you know, I'm recording and dedicating a, a, a decent, oops, a decent uh, chunk of my RAM, so to be expected. Uh, open up the Play Store for you, so that you can do Play Store kind of stuff. Ta-da! And also show you that uh, other launchers are working. This is no launcher. I use this pretty much on all my Android devices. Uh, it has no. Desktop for icons, nothing. It's just uh, a very minimal just is launcher. And then you can use apps like uh, AppSwap to go through your things that way. Or even uh, Honeycomb Launcher to do your uh, app loading and switching that way. This all works as you would expect it to up here with even a clear. And. Uh, that rounds it off, covering all the features. I hope you guys enjoyed and will make good use of Mimu as your new high-performance Android emulator. I certainly enjoyed showing you guys this. Uh, it, it's, it's definitely a great game to, to play all, all sorts of things, or emulator to play all sorts of things. Um, have a good one, and hope to see you again.